Hi guys, so today is going to be another After Effects tutorial. So I'll be teaching you guys how to use audio spectrum. It's something quite common and simple to do. You see it everywhere as well. So especially in like homemade playlists and compilations of songs. Like people just have these bars moving up and down. So there's really nothing to it. All you do is uh, go ahead and create a new solid. All right. And then uh, what you do is you also put in the song that you want into your composition. Uh, and then in your effects and presets panel, uh, go ahead and type in audio spectrum and drag it into your black solid. Then you will see this pink dotted line in your composition. Yeah, it's not going to do anything yet. You have to go to the audio spectrum settings uh, and then go to the audio layer drop down bar. Uh, you'll see something that says source here. Go ahead and pick uh, the song that you put. So when you play it now, it's going to be like this. So uh, it's kind of working now, but it's not like there yet. It doesn't look like the ones on YouTube. So that's why you have to play around with the settings. There's start frequency and frequency here. Uh, you can go ahead and copy mine. I've put this here. Let's go ahead and copy that. Okay. And then now you have something that looks like this. So yeah, the controls here are quite uh, basic. You know, you have the maximum height of the lines. You have the frequency of the bands, meaning how many lines uh, will appear in your audio spectrum. There's also audio offset. I mean, usually people don't use that, kind of takes away the point of it, unless that's something that you want. Meaning to say the waveform will pick up the song, but there's going to be a delay. And then as for thickness and softness is like feathering in the bars, as well as the thickness of the bars. but. As you can see here, I can bump this up to a 13. And it's going to have that circular look, right? So uh, if you want it to be square, no worries. Uh, bring that up back to 5. Now go back to your effects and presets panel and search for uh, Minimax. And then go ahead and drag that into your black solid. Change the radius to 5. And then go ahead and change the color to alpha and color. And there you go. Uh, that's about it. Like from here on in, you just like change the color yourself using the inside and outside color options here. And don't forget to put a background, some titles, and you're all set. Alright, so I hope this tutorial was really helpful to you guys. Uh, it's something simple but can't help but get it wrong when you do it yourself. If you haven't followed us yet, please do. Um, we're gonna come up with a lot of like creative tutorials for you to follow and they're all free. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.